It's like they're a part of it. That's important to me that I that everybody on this team is happy offensively. They get shots when they need them. And at the end of the day, you know, if it's crunch time, I'm going to go to the guy that I think can get it done. And if Jeremy's the guy that's doing it that night, I have no problem in Jeremy taking the big shot to win the game. And Clyde, that was the formula during the seven game winning streak where everybody was happy as Fields with the strip and steal. Lynn drives down, stripped by Collison. Lynn thought he was fouled. It's going to be Nick Ball. Yeah, Fields again coming up with a loose ball. So very vivacious is Fields. Good D by Collison, but the Knicks retain it underneath. So your thoughts on what Woodson said? Yeah, I like that. I like that philosophy. Keep it like it is. Slowly implement his plan into the game. And, but keep it team oriented. Jeremy Lynn with his first field goal. And the Knicks lead by five. That won't go. Ball still batted around. Lynn comes away. Good battle on the boards from Carmelo Anthony. And you like your guards getting rebounds. Good job by Lynn. Anthony on the drive. Gets in. Count it and one. And it's important. Collison gets in. Deflected by Novak. And taken by Shepard. No, Novak has it. Smith, who had the seven three-pointers against Portland, puts up his first shot. That's a two. Also had nine in the game. Lynn keeps his dribble. Whatever Finds happens. Chandler. Nice pass. Nope, they're going to wave it off. I think it's going to be a three-second violation. Yep. Chandler lost it. Gets it back. Goes up and puts it in. Wasn't the prettiest shot, but it worked. But he shows you the good hands of Chandler. A little bit. I mean, he could hardly handle the ball at first. Granger misses. Fields doesn't. Mello's open. Anthony all alone. Down the other end. Credit Landry Fields on that play for tipping it out of David West's hands. Timeout. With exactly five minutes remaining here in the second, Knicks with a 17 point lead. The defense is critical, and Hustle plays like this. Landry Fields tips it away, and it leads to an easy bucket for Carmelo Anthony. 39 22, Knicks in front here in the second. Basketball right from the start. They can't start on our Shinada switch. Offensive foul. Jeremy Lynn steps in and takes a shot as we send it over to Tina. And Mike, when Roy Hibbert was named to the Eastern Conference All-Star team, tight. Stoudemire and West still battling. Look out, look out. Finds Fields, back out Lynn. Lynn on the drive, gets inside. Difficult shot, he puts it in. Collison looked like he got a piece of it, but Lynn hung tough. Yeah, Lynn a lot stronger than he looks. He proves it on that play. Right there, able to manipulate between a couple of pacers and finish with the six-footer. They're only down by 12. Yeah, they only run away. Time is going to deny that, but still, the way they're playing now, they can go into the locker room with a little more confidence than before. Meanwhile, Baron Davis will not return with that strained right hamstring. It's Frank Vogel not happy with his team. We'll have the Delta Halftime Report, New York Minute, presented by Surratt, or Lincoln MSG 150, and Land Rover Halftime Highlights. So we talked about Tony Douglas being out of rotation. With injuries, you never know. But Mike Bibby would be the first point guard off. And the Knicks have done an excellent job on that front court. He can roll. Field season opening, drives inside, and a nice finish. Swiss cheese D. About a five second difference between shot clock and game clock, and the crowd appreciative of a terrific first half performance. Lynn wants a high screen. Lynn looking, shot clock winding down, a three pointer. Bang! Jeremy Lynn from downtown. Final seconds. Hill lost it. Hill launches it up at the buzzer. And that ends a marvelous first half for the Knicks. Lynn knocks down a big three, but it's defense once again. You shoot and you have too much time. Grains are posing, they seem to lose focus. Stoudemire. Oh, and Chandler chips it in with one hand. Thompson, I think, also mad at the official. Now they're going to say, yes, they have to shoot. Lynn tonight, nine points, three assists. Just one turnover. A dramatic three ball to end the second quarter by Lynn. You know, Mike Woodson, Clyde, was talking about a lot before the game about 
the changes he'll make in the team and what impact it will have on Jeremy Lin. It's a crazy back page today talking about you know Lin's sanity, RIPs. He might fall back and not start anymore. And Baron Davis will take over. Mike Bibby might start playing. Like Woodson said, I'm not changing. He's going to have the same impact. He's going to be a huge part and will stay in the start. Collison, two quick fouls. Stoudemire, silent night. Stoudemire with jab step, now drives inside. Nice lefty move. Quick, quick move from Stoudemire. Pacers with the first one, though, right from the start. And they show that they wanted it. And they've been a nice part of their excellent team. Chandler to finish. Tyson Chandler for a monster offensively as well. Quickly, and that won't go. Stoudemire with his sixth rebound. Alley -oop. Anthony throws it down. And an easy bucket, the largest lead of the night. Again, lackadaisical defense by the Pacers. They need to talk it over. And Frank Vogel not happy with his team. And the Knicks taking full advantage at both ends of the floor. Dishing, swishing, pounding, pounding D. See the ball. Somebody see the ball. So, mellow and easy opportunity. He around. Hibbert pumps Lynn. Mike Woodson wanted the foul. Here Lynn gets in, draws the foul. Lynn back to the free throw line. Collison, three fouls in this quarter. Trying to deny Lynn. One was foolish along the baseline. And now diagonally to the paint was Lynn to, to draw another. Three fouls on Collison. Lynn, 11 points, four assists, four boards. Harvard got knocked out in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Clyde's Salukis were not in the NCAA tournament. <laughs> and it cost our coach his job. Goes <laughs> to Shepard. Three point won't go. Chandler tips it out to Lynn. They diagnosed Hibbert with asthma. He didn't know he, he didn't even know he had asthma. As Lynn drives inside, shot won't go. Tip to Jeffries from Chandler, and the finish. And this is a team, 49% from the field. Pacers 33, no back for three. Puts it in, and a foul. Now the foul not on Novak. I think Jeffries is going to shoot the free throw as Novak nails his second three-pointer of the night. And the Knicks with this largest lead of the game. And Novak came, like Lynn, a crowd favorite these days. The scouting report is stay up on this guy, but a good screen by Jeffrey frees him up. And then he's eradicated by Hansbro, so Jeffrey. For your iPhone or Android phone, call Star Star Knicks from your mobile phone to get the free New York Knicks with their second consecutive blowout. This one a wire-to-wire -wire victory. And Mike Woodson is now 2-0 as head coach. And the first game, Woodson made uh, Nick history, winning by the largest margin ever for a first game coach. And another rousing, resounding victory here tonight. 15-point uh, margin.